Okay, hello, so good day. So today we're going to talk about how to write general objectives and specific objectives based from the given topic. So we're going to consider three topics. So the first topic is actually crafted now from the given examples to you in your PowerPoint presentations. So we will consider topic one, leadership skills of student officers of St. Mary's University. And then for topic number two, so we have here process and outcome evaluations of disaster risk reduction and management program in academic institution in Nueva Vizcaya. And for the third topic, we're going to consider the level of knowledge and awareness on disaster risk reduction and management or DRRM program among grade 5 and 6 pupils in Nueva Vizcaya. So to Okay, so let us consider the first topic. So that's the leadership skills of student officers in of St. Mary's University. So we will consider a statement of the problem. So by the way, uh, when do we use a statement of the objectives or a statement of the problems? So we usually use a statement of the objectives if we're going to state our objectives or rather our problem into objective form or declarative form while it is called statement of the objective if the problems are written in interrogative or into question form so to write for the general so this is our general objective this study aims to investigate the leadership skills of student officers of so we just um, make it more specific so particularly co-curricular organizations at St. Mary's University Bayombong Nueva Vizcaya during the school year 2020-2021. So we have of course to consider what is our topic all about that is our general problem so we can just state the topic or our research title by just adding the word this study aims to so it can be this study aims to investigate to explore to know so it's up to you what uh, words will you use that is also synonymous to investigate so for the specific problems specifically the study aims to answer the following questions so number one what is the profile of the student officers of co-curricular organizations at SMU in terms of the following. So what are considered here? So letter A, you have the age. Letter B, gender. Letter C, college. And letter D, college or letter D, course so these are the profile variables involved but uh you can actually place the profile of the variables or demographic profile under the research methodology or chapter three of your paper where you have to describe your respondents or your participants under the respondents of the study so this question is actually optional so you can actually exclude this part so let us also consider problem number two so problem number two of course our concern is to, to know the level of leadership skills so we have to ask the question what is the level of leadership skills among student officers in the smu and then for the third problem so we can also consider problems that explore for significant differences. So we have problem number three asking for, is there a significant difference between the mean score in the level of leadership skills among student officers when, group, when they are grouped by the profile variables? Or you can indicate the profile variables involved. So age, gender, department, and here. Or just to be consistent with 
our profile number one, then we can just include age, gender, college, and first. So this is actually the reason why there's no need to place profile variables as your question. Anyway, it will also be presented in answering question number three. So for information of everyone, problem number one is an example of problem that requires descriptive statistics because our objective is just to describe the level of leadership. While for problem number three, this is an example of problem that requires inferential statistics. Okay, so that's for our um, topic number one. So let's move to the next topic. So let us also consider topic number two. So for topic number two, so this is our topic, process and outcome evaluation of disaster risk reduction and management program in academic institution. So for the general objective, in, in our topic number one, I made use of the statement of problem. So for topic number two, let us also try to use a statement of the objective. So we're going to emphasize that it is objective by writing it into declarative form okay so what's the objective we can just simply say that this study aims to determine the so you can just copy the whole topic process and outcome evaluation of disaster risk reduction and management program in academic institutions in Nueva Vizcaya for the specific problems or other specific objectives. So we can state that specifically this study will aim to, so let's consider letter A, um, our profile variable involves the process and then the outcome. So we can just simply say to it will aim to determine or simply to describe the process of. So let's make this the capital letter V R R M. Okay, so specifically, this study aims to describe the process of disaster risk management program in academic institutions in Nueva Vizcaya. So aside from that, so we, we need to consider also our variable process. So it will determine the process sorry the outcome i mean it will also determine the outcome of disaster risk so it will determine the outcome of disaster risk reduction and management program in academic institutions in Nueva Vizcaya. So if you're not going to involve profile variables, because these are actually about uh, assessment, assessment of program, and if you're not going to involve individual respondents like students or teachers or anyone who are directly involved here, then your specific problems can be limited into this to a specific problems or rather it's specific objectives so these are the objectives 
Okay, let's move to topic number three. So for topic number three, our topic is all about the level of awareness, knowledge and awareness on disaster risk reduction and management or DRRM among grade five and six pupils in Nueva Vizcaya. So our general objectives or let's again use general problems, general problems. So for the general problem, I can just copy this and add this study aims to determine the level of knowledge and so we have the level of knowledge and awareness on the rrm program among grade five and six pupils in neva vizcaya bayombong neva vizcaya so for a specific so let's just place a specific problems to emphasize but there's no need of course to place this when you are stating for your problem you can directly say that specifically this study aims to uh, okay so this is problem it aims to answer the following questions okay number one so what so remember we have level of knowledge so what is the level of knowledge so we can just simply copy this then edit it so what is the level of knowledge of the pupils on disaster risk reduction management program? Then number two, so we will consider also the level of awareness. So what is the level of awareness of the pupils on disaster risk reduction and management program for number three so if you uh for problems number one and number two so these are again an examples of descriptive problems that requires of course descriptive statistics so if we want now since we uh, have here level of knowledge, level of awareness, grade 5 and grade 6. So if we want to consider now a comparison, then we can actually ask, is there a significant difference between the level of knowledge of pupils when grouped by their when the pupils are grouped by their it can be grade level or if we will just consider this then we can just add it here And then uh, we can all again do the same question for level of awareness. And uh, aside from that, if we want to know, for instance, if the level of knowledge is correlated to the level of awareness, like uh, having an hypothesis that the, the more knowledgeable the pupil, is it means that the more or the higher his awareness so 
we can also include question asking for correlation. So we can ask, is there a significant